Hello and welcome to Indus News live from Islamabad. I'm Jawad Hami and these are the headlines. Belarus President Alexander Lukashenko has rejected calls to hold a new presidential election in the country. Speaking at a rally in Minsk, he voiced concerns over the NATO military exercises taking place in neighboring Poland and Lithuania. But a spokesperson for the alliance said there is no military buildup in the region. Belarus has been rocked by a week of violent protests over the allegations of rigging in last Sunday's presidential vote. In Thailand, thousands of protesters have taken to the streets of Bangkok, demanding the removal of Prime Minister Pariyut Chanocha. They called for reforms to the country's powerful monarchy and an end to the military's domination of politics. Accusations of corruption and the economic fallout from the coronavirus pandemic further fueled anger among the protesters. U.S. President Donald Trump says he will reimpose international sanctions against Iran at the U.N. next week. Talking to reporters, he said the U.S. will trigger a snapback mechanism as the U.N. Security Council rejected its bid to renew an arms embargo on Iran. He also dismissed Russia's proposal to hold a summit to discuss the matter. Globally, the novel coronavirus pandemic has taken over 770,000 lives and infected more than 21.4 million people. In the U.S., nearly 1,100 people have died due to COVID-19, while nearly 50,000 people tested positive for the virus in the past 24 hours. India has recorded 944 fatalities, taking toll to nearly 50,000, with almost 2.6 million cases. In Pakistan, the death rate continues to decline as six people have died overnight, taking the tally to 6,168. And that is all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at Indus.com.